Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for take. So few days back, we created the first review of non-retrofit Android 14 based superheroes for OnePlus 6 and 60. As that was the first alpha release version, it has some minor flaws and lots of superior lab customization missing features. But the dev because the Optimus Prime has given us the new update for New Year Eve of 2024. This one is the 2nd January 2024 build of Superior OS for OnePlus 6 and 60. I created one video yesterday how you can revert back from the retrofit to non-retrofit custom ROMs. You can refer that if you are coming from the retrofit to dynamic custom ROMs as Superior OS is a non-dynamic custom ROM. In today's video, we will check out the new changes in the new Superior OS version, what's new Superior Lab customizations were added in the new build, at last as shown, are the previous bugs were fixed in this new build or not, what are the missing features and the bugs still present in the ROM, so watch this video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. The new adventure. So I already did the complete flashing so phone is booting into the new superior OS boot animation. If you are using the old build of superior OS just do the ADB side loading of this new update via stock superior OS recovery without formatting data. For reference please check the old video. Now let's jump into the upbound phone section. So this is a superior OS version with the G apps, it's still in a beta stage. Last build was released as alpha version. Android version is 14 with the new easter egg of Google's new upside down cake version. Security patch is of latest December 2023. Last build was on the November security patches. Kanna version is same like old build, it's premise Kanna 4.9.337. It's built with the Clang tool chain version 17 with the lots of optimizations for the performance and stability. ROM is built on the 2nd January 2024, which is the latest one. Now let's check out last time missing superior lab features were added by the developers or not in this build. In the superior lab few things are still missing that we will check under the bugs and the missing features section. Status bar features were came back in this build which has network traffic indicator, lots of status bar battery customizations. Next the QS panel customizations are also added by the developers. But here only basic customizations we will get, there are no any add-ons features like Retrofit Evolution X custom ROM offers. Navigation mode setting are same like we have seen before. Power menu setting has lots of power menu shortcuts. Under the themes option we get the lots of options like bunch of font styles, lots of system icon packs, signal icon styles, data icon styles, WAF icon styles, icon shapes, navigation bar styles. These are available under this cursor setting, but some main theming features like the chroma and the luminance factor control, pure dark themes and the presets are missing in this build. Miscellaneous setting also has the only one advanced setting that is the ignore window secure flag, which helps to take the screenshot of banking or the payment application, which was disabled by the Google for the security purposes. In the old build, double tap to wake on the lost screen was working but it sometimes behaves like buggy, sometimes it's work and sometimes not. But now it's working good. Last build didn't have the one plus setting which were added by the developer in this build. Which has different options like mute media volume toggle, automatic high brightness toggle, manual high brightness control, ambient display gestures. FS overlay settings and system vibration control settings. These are all the pretty useful features. ROM now also comes with the inbuilt OT updater under the system setting with the new user interface and its updates control. Next issue of OnePlus camera regarding the 4K 60fps recording and selfie camera ported picture. These issues has been solved here. This new build comes with the fully working Oxynos camera. ROM comes with the Oxynos gallery application but along with that we also get the another gallery application which has better materialistic look. Under the setting of this gallery application we can customize some things like follow system theme toggle, use AMOLED mode which offers the pure black theme to application, we can increase or reduce the album card size from the smallest to bigger level. Monthly timeline categories will offer all picture as per month with the multiple cards. 
we can enable the trash mode where deleted pictures get saved so we can recover them back at any time. Under the QS panel now we get the new FPS meter tile which which enables the FPS meter for the screen. ROM has the new nice looking low screen clocks of new Android 14 which looks cool on always on display. ROM is passing the safety net which was also working in the old build 2. Google Play Protect is certified. Now we'll check out the bugs and the missing features in the ROM. All the Android 14 features are present in the ROM except the AI generated wallpaper and emojis. In the last build actually it was present but there it is buggy and not applying the AI wallpapers and emojis. So in this build developers completely removed it. This setting is not present in the wallpaper and style section. Next issue is regarding the Hey Google Voice activation. It's now available and working under the Google Assistant setting but the problem is that it's not actually waking up and responding like Google Assistant. It's waking up the full screen Google Assistant which is not showing the proper results for our questions. Same way Edge's swipe gesture is also not waking up the Google Assistant though its setting is available under the navigation gesture setting. Even the home screen Google search bar mic is not waking up the Google Assistant which was working in the previous build. Next issue is some options still not added by the developers under the superior lab setting like buttons, lost screen settings, notifications, all settings are blank. All these features are not yet added by the developers but they will be added in the upcoming builds. Missing setting also has very few options, unlock higher FPS, Netflix spoofing, these settings are unavailable until now. So this is all about the new update, still there are some features missing but in terms of usability we can consider this ROM as a stable build. It has only issues regarding the missing features which will be added in the upcoming builds. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, to keep alive your OnePlus 6 and 60. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.